Hey guys, so we've all heard that opposites attract, but have you ever seen an example of this in real life? Right, magnets. But do you know that even water molecules follow this law of attraction? Wondering how? Let's see. We know that water is a compound and every water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. This oxygen atom carries a slight negative charge while the hydrogen atom carries slightly positive charges. This creates two poles in the molecule which leads to polarity and this makes water a polar solvent. Due to this polarity, water has a high dielectric constant. Dielectric constant is the difference between the charges within the two poles of the molecule. In fact, it is the dielectric constant of water that makes it a universal solvent. Does that mean that water can dissolve every substance in it? Well, not really. Water is called a universal solvent because out of all the solvents on earth, water can dissolve most solutes in it, whether they are solid like salt or liquid like acetic acid or gas like soda. Now suppose we add common salt or sodium chloride, a solid solute, to water. Even common salt is polar. How? The sodium ion in common salt is positively charged and its chloride ion is negatively charged. And this is when the opposites attract. The bond between sodium and chloride is broken. The positive ion in the water attracts the chloride ion and the negative charge in the water attracts the sodium ion. This happens to every single atom of sodium chloride added in the water. Ultimately, this results in the dissolution of salt in water. That's a lot happening at the molecular level, isn't it? So we can conclude that polarity leads to dielectric constant and dielectric constant determines solubility.